A big part of college statistics deals with rates and proportions. The word rate has the word per in it. So like miles per gallon, is an example of a rate. And very often rates would be something per 100. And if we have something, let's call it X per 100, we call this a percentage. Something per 100 is called a percentage. Death rates are often number of deaths per 100,000. That's a common uh, way to express death rates, deaths per 100,000 people. So that would, for example, a death rate would be the number of deaths per 100,000 people, say, exposed. And the word per means that the operation of division is used. And so, so when we have a rate, we could have a fraction, we could have a decimal, we could have a percentage, and often we will see rate per 100,000. Now, when we deal with rates, very often when rates are very small, it's sometimes necessary to use scientific notation. So scientific notation is based on what we call um, powers of 10. And these powers of 10 actually make up our decimal place value system, which we're used to. So if we look at the ones place, the tens place, the one hundreds place, the one thousands place, the ten thousands place, the hundred thousands place. And finally, I'm only going to go up to the millions place. What do we have? Well, a million is 10 raised to the sixth power. That's a one with six zeros. A hundred thousand is 10 to the fifth power. That's a one with one, two, three, four, five zeros. 10,000 is 10 to the fourth power, which is a one with one, two, three, four zeros. 1,000 is 10 to the third. 100 is 10 to the second. 10 is 10 to the 1, and 1 is 10 to the 0. Now, this is important to know that 10 to the 0 is 1, and you see the pattern here. It should be clear that this is completely consistent with this pattern, right? 10 to the negative 1 is actually point 0.1. 10 to the negative 2 is 0 0.01. And all I have room for on this piece of paper is 10 to the negative 3, which is 0 0.001. And I want you to notice something here. 10 to the negative 3 has 1, 2, 3 digits to the right of the decimal point. 10 to the negative 2 has 1, two digits to the right of the decimal point. 10 to the negative one has exactly one digit to the right of the decimal point. And of course, 10 to the zero is one. So this place value system is something essential that you should know when dealing with rates that could be, usually rates can be pretty small. I mean, they could be really large too. Uh, but in stats, in, in statistics, you'll typically get rates that could be pretty small.
and might require you to go in and out of scientific notation. Um, the important one here is that 100,000 is 10 to the 5, and death rates are very often as deaths per 100,000. And the other one that's important to know is 10 to the 2 is 100 because decimals, I'm sorry, percentages are per 100. So the word proportion is also very important because proportion is a number over a total and it could be expressed either as a fraction, a decimal, a percent, or a rate per 100,000, or a rate per something else. <laughs> so a percentage is a proportion, but it's expressed with a denominator of 100. A death rate is a proportion, but it's typically represented as a rate per 100,000, but it doesn't have to be. A death rate could be represented as a percentage. Um, so this concept of rate, rate just means it has the idea of the something per something else. The concept of proportion is just that there is division. Um, and so this is really the idea of rates and proportions, which sometimes can lead to confusion. Um, the last thing I guess you should know is that if you wanna convert a decimal into a percent, we multiply by 100. And if you want to convert a percentage back into a decimal, we divide by 100. And because our place value system that we use, you know, typically in, in this country is a decimal place value system based on powers of 10. Multiplying by 100, all we have to do is move the decimal point two places to the right. And if we divide by 100, all we have to do is move the decimal point two places to the left. So rates and proportions really shouldn't be that terribly confusing. And it is necessary to understand the decimal place value system in order to understand rates and proportions. Definitely know your powers of 10. De you should be able to quickly know that 10 to the zero is one. You should be able to know quickly that 10 to the two is 100. You should be able to know quickly that 10 to the five is 100,000. And you should be able to know, you know, relatively quickly that 10 to the negative one is 0.1. 10 to the negative 2 is 0 0.01, 10 to the negative 3 is 0 0.0001. And so this is really probably the basic idea of rates and proportions.